Wow, rare. When was the last time you saw one of these? Has new tires, new rack and pinion. Does this run? Runs good? Jeez, I cannot remember the last time I saw one of these in running condition. What a photographer, ladies and gentlemen. You say Taurus wagon? You say running Taurus wagon? Some, some like Radwood nerd will come out of the woodwork and they've been looking for one for years and they want to have the last one on the planet. But if you can't even be bothered to take 20 minutes to take proper pictures of it, like pictures are the entire key when it comes to selling a vehicle. And in case in point, I've been meaning to make a point of this on Craigslist Gold. So I sold this, this is an ad, it's now deleted, but I saved it in this one tab just so I could have it for illustrative purposes. So basically I bought this truck for two grand, the transmission blew literally two weeks after I bought it. This thing was 30, it really pissed me off to be honest. It really, I mean, I loved this thing. It drove amazing, but it really pissed me off that that happened. But the two keys to selling a car, take really, really good pictures, take the best pictures you possibly can. I took an actual camera, not a cell phone. You can use the cell phone, it's fine. They're, they're really good now. But I took an actual camera and I parked this in my driveway and I blew my driveway off. And I took, I spent probably 20, 30 minutes taking these pictures. That's key number one, take good pictures. Key number two, ask less than you think it's worth. Ask a really enticing price. I've done it with cars. I've done it with houses. People are scared shitless to do it. It's if you're scared to ask less money than you think something is worth, you're f up. And I know it doesn't mean you're stupid because that's what everybody do does. It's a natural fact of life. If you feel like you need to ask more than something is worth so you can come down to wherever they're going to haggle you to, you are f up. People see the low price and the good pictures and you're going to have so many calls and texts. You're going to be fighting people off. You're going to be, oh, well, I got this other guy already coming. Oh, hold on. I'm getting another phone call. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can. Yeah, let me try and meet you. But I think this other guy's coming. Man, in the span of two hours, I had the bidding up to 1500 on this thing. And that was where I called it quits. Because I couldn't in good conscience ask for more than, I, I couldn't in good conscience take more than 1500 for it. That's all I wanted was 1500 but if I had priced this at two grand and expected to come down, nobody would have f called me. And it would have sat on Craigslist for a month. And then finally, somebody would have come along and really wanted it and said, hey, I see that's been sitting for a month. I'll give you a grand for it. And I'd have to, I'd have had to take it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And another thing I hear people say is, well, you know, I'm going to ask this much. Number's way up here, right? But the least I'm going to take is this much. No, absolutely the wrong mindset. If you, if you even come with that mindset, you are f up. You have to say, what is the least, if you ever put a house on the market, if you ever put a car on the market, the first thing you have to get right about your mindset is the minimum you are going to take for this, this thing that you're selling is one cent. That's the minimum you're going to take. I'm sorry, but if you put your house on the market and the highest bid is one cent, then yeah, you have to accept that that's what the market's offering and that's what you have to take. Whatever you put on the market, as less for it than it's worth, you'll get a shit ton of interest, take really good pictures, and like you will have people knocking down your door, and as soon as everybody else realizes that everybody's knocking down this guy's door, people are gonna start pulling more money out and trying to get your attention, and then they'll play off of each other, I'm telling you. Two keys, take really good pictures, really good pictures, and ask less than it's worth. Those are the two things that'll get you the most money on a car sale, house sale, whatever. And I guess if I had to say a third thing for car sales, like on Craigslist, don't be the wall of text guy. Don't write an essay. If you write an essay, you think you're adding value, you're not. If you go forward and tell like a whole list, paragraph after paragraph of every last thing you've ever done to the car, oh, I changed the right rear spark plug one time and it cost me five bucks. So if I tell people about this, it's gonna add value because they're gonna know it's worth more because I spent five bucks on it. It's, n n that's not, it's, that it, 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 it doesn't work like that. So those are the two keys. Take really good pictures, spend 30 minutes doing it, Blow off your driveway, take it to a cul-de-sac, whatever you got to do. Learn the basics of how to shoot a picture. Take good pictures and um, take good pictures and ask less than it's worth for f sake. Houses, cars, 
ask less than it's worth. 